How do you say goodbye to a child, a grandson, a son, a daughter? It's hard enough under most circumstances. It borders on unbearable when it could have easily been prevented. But that morning, as usual, I woke him up at 5.30, and I stood in the doorway, LaFrance, you know, it's, it's that time to get up. And he, as always, yes, ma'am, and crawl up out the bed. And that was the last time I saw him. That night at another relative's house, 12-year-old LaFrance Johnson and his 10-year-old brother came across a gun and started playing. At some point, the 10-year-old pulled the trigger. I'm like, where are you? And so she told me where they were at. But I'm like, well, how come we're not going to the hospital? Shouldn't I meet you guys at the hospital? And when she said, kept saying, come on the scene, I knew then that it was something was wrong, terribly wrong. It's heartbreaking. Um, it's your right to own firearms, but also it's your right when you know you have kids, children around, around to lock them up. You know, gun locks are being given out every day for free. A simple free lock likely would have prevented a tragedy. I wondered what would it have been like for me if that happened to my kids. St. Louis Police Major Ryan Cousins has watched with a feeling of near helplessness during the first half of 2022 as at least 35 children have been shot, seven killed in Metro St. Louis. Many could have been prevented by a simple lock. No cost, no cost to save a life. And that, that's really what we really need to pay attention to. You know, I know a lot of people may be worried about hey, how quick can I get to my weapon if I need it. And it's just in mere seconds. He had a couple friends over. And next thing you know, it was his friend that called me and was saying my Alvin had been shot. Laconia Adams is living proof that you never get over it. Her son, Alvin Sanders Jr., was on his way to play college basketball. A friend was fooling around with a gun and Alvin was shot and killed. It's been more than four years now, but every time another child dies. Just heartbreaking, um, just, just it's all over again. Um, just how these things can be prevented, you know. I think having more conversations with kids, um, they're very, very smarter than what we believe. Um, not only locking these guns, but you know, just just talking to them, educating them about them. You know, these aren't toys. Laconia was at work. The gun in question was not hers. Her son was a high school senior, not a little kid. Yet guilt, however unfounded, still eats at her. I felt like I I uh, I did a great job, but I went wrong somewhere. So, uh, just loving on your babies and just talking to them and um, checking on them and just, uh, just they're not going to tell everything. We just have to monitor them more, go behind them more, being aware of their friends and what their friends like. You can lose a child and more. LaFrance was shot by his brother, who will carry this for the rest of his life. You know, he cried out in the beginning. It was just an accident, just an accident. So we had to show and pour love on him to, to show him that we're not mad at him, you know. And he's probably going to need counseling for the rest of his life, which they are in the process of getting counseling now. We all will be. I mean, to, 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 to just know that the two brothers, you know, one would never be here and the other one would never be the same. And that's something he would have to deal with the rest of his life. So basically, you took a life and you're taking part of another life by not just locking it up. We've lost too many kids back to back. So that's just in a message in itself. Oh, I have a gun. Let me make sure I put it up. Oh, they're giving away free locks. So let me go get one. Let me grab one for my friend. Let me grab one for my cousin. Let me, you know, let me encourage them to lock it up. And that's all we ask. Let's not lose another child because you didn't want to lock it up. Gun locks are free. They are readily available and they save lives.